articulates what they don't like about this country and what they don't like about the way this country has behaved uh, in other countries and what his problems are with their foreign policy and the lack of money that is equally shared around the world. He articulates that very clearly. And I articulate, from my perspective, I don't have time to have this political discussion with you right now. I need to know if there's an option for me to do something to stop that from happening. And it's a, an amazing dilemma. Yeah. And, it's a, and he plays it beautifully and it's an incredibly powerful scene. Women in this. Mm -hmm. Are most of, seem to be smart, mm -hmm. aggressive in, a, in the best sense of the word. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, smart, professional. Plus, and uh, she's all of those things. Plus, <laughs> plus, <laughs> um, strong. I mean, these are interesting women to play on this. Oh, it's series. it's terrific. A lot I mean, of good roles for. Yeah, which also is very rare to find. I mean, yeah. and also I think really strong and yet also vulnerable and and also flawed. Um, and I think that that's, I think that's also really fun to play too, because you don't always get that opportunity to sort of in encapsulate all of that in one person. Um, Have you guys already begun to think about the next season? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, in fact, one of the things that we learned really through making this year was that this year is going to feed very strongly into next year, a much tighter connection uh, as opposed to a year and a bit off. I'm going to start, we're going to tighten that gap up a little bit and, uh, and so the writers are actually more ahead for next season than at any other stage in the making of this show. Uh, so we're very excited about that. You want to tell me more? <laughs> That's all they told me. <laughs> They didn't tell me a single other thing other than that they were ahead. Uh, as I said to the audience, we taped this here at the CTU set. Uh, this television series, as I have said to many people, Kiefer and I have had many conversations about it, has developed a, a life of its own, not just in the United States, but around the world. China, you mentioned in Japan, it's where it's a big hit, and Europe. And, and it is even, I read somewhere, the most pirated show there mm. is from American television. Um, I thank you for taking uh, you. time to join me on okay. this last day of shooting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Funding for Charlie Rose has been provided by the following. The Coca-Cola Mexico Foundation built school shelters where children from remote villages stay during the week, cutting their commute to school from six hours to 60 seconds, satisfying a thirst for education. The Coca-Cola Company. Charlie Rose on PBS is brought to you in part by J.P. Morgan Chase. Providing financial services and solutions to more than 30 million consumers, institutions, corporations, and governments worldwide. Additional funding for Charlie Rose was also provided by these funders. And by Bloomberg, a provider of multimedia news and information services worldwide. We are PBS. 